The geometry of your bike is arguably the most important thing to how that bike rides. It's a massive subject that we can delve into, but let's look specifically at how that bottom bracket height and head angle affect the performance of your bike. The head angle is actually that angle of your head tube that affects the angle of your fork, obviously. And that will make a difference to how a bike turns and how it feels at speed. A steep head angle will feel very agile, but can become a little bit twitchy. A slacker head angle will feel much more stable at speed, but can feel a little bit lazy at low speeds. Some of the slackest downhill bikes now go down to almost 60 degrees. So that's really rake type. The lower the number, the slacker that bike is. The trend seems to have been going slightly slacker with all bikes the last few years, even trail bikes. The bike industry seems to have settled on about 60 to 65 degrees for downhill bikes, 65 to 68 for trail bikes, and then 69 plus for short travel XC bikes and hardtails. The lower your bottom bracket is, the lower your center of gravity will be. That means the bike's gonna corner really nicely, but if you go too low the bottom bracket, your pedals and cranks are getting low to the floor and you risk striking your pedals on obstacles. So there's a fine balance between getting a bike that corners well, but that's high enough off the floor so you can pedal through the rough stuff. It's really important that you set your sag correctly on a full suspension bike so that you're not sat too far into your travel. If you're in loads of sag, you're gonna be much lower to the floor and that's when you can catch your pedals really easily. Downhill bikes actually have higher bottom bracket heights than cross-country bikes. Because of the extra travel they have, if they're at the same height, they'd be much too low when you dropped into that travel. On a hardtail with a suspension fork, when that fork compresses, your head angle will get steeper and your bottom bracket will drop marginally. On a full suspension bike on those big hits, your head angle should stay relatively the same if you've got the same travel front to back but your bottom bracket can go a lot lower, depending on the amount of travel you have on that bike. As bottom bracket height and head angle make such a difference to how that bike rides, it's good to keep note of what you have on your bike and what you want from a bike. Then when you're planning your next bike purchase, you can go onto the manufacturer's website and actually get a good feel about how that bike is actually gonna ride just from looking at those figures. The head angle on a bike isn't necessarily always fixed. On my bike, I can change these shock mounts. But you can also buy things like shock bushes that are offset to change that head angle. Also, angle set headsets. Sometimes you can fit those to the bike to go degrees slacker or steeper. Okay, so there's BB height and head angle explained. If you don't know what your figures are for your bike, get on the manufacturer's website and have a look. Also, you could use this nifty little app on your iPhone and line that up on your fork. That'll work really well. Obviously, just make sure your bike's on flat ground when you do that. For other videos from GMBN, you can click up here for our mechanical how-to playlist or for our pro bike playlist, click down here. Or click on me and my bike to subscribe to GMBN. It's free.